This is John Wilde here to give you another look at vintage action figures. This time we'll be looking at Rocky Balboa from the Rocky line of action figures produced by Phoenix Toys in 1983. The Rocky line of action figures came out in 1983, almost a full year after the motion picture Rocky III was released. There were only four action figures produced, Rocky, Apollo Creed, Clubber Lang, and Thunderlips. These action figures are hard to find complete unless on card. Rocky Balboa is portrayed by Sylvester Stallone in Rocky III. In this episode of the story, Rocky has successfully defended his title ten times and has become quite famous and wealthy in the process. He is challenged by a new and upcoming fighter, Clubber Lang, during the installment of a bronze statue in Rocky's honor. Mickey, Rocky's trainer, confesses that he has selected Rocky's previous opponents and that he is not ready to fight a challenger like Clubber Lang. Rocky decides to go forward with the fight anyways. The Rocky Balboa figure came on card, stating Sylvester Stallone as Rocky. Hey, let's take a closer look at this figure on card. Sylvester Stallone, an unknown actor in 1976, wrote and sold the story of Rocky Balboa, portraying him in the Academy Award-winning first film. Stallone continued writing all the installments of the story up to this date and had directed the sequels Rocky II and Rocky III. Sylvester Stallone would go on to become a 1980s action movie legend, portraying John Rambo in First Blood and Rocky four more times. The Rocky Balboa figure is a great action figure with plentiful accessories. He came with gold boxing trunks with black trim and Rocky painted on them. Remember, the red, white, and blue trunks were still Apollo Creed's at this time. Also included were two boxing gloves and the heavyweight championship belt. The Rocky Balboa figure is built in a similar fashion to Masters of the Universe figures. One hand fisted and one palm open. He has 360 degree rotation at the arms and the waist. His legs are straight though, unlike the Masters of the Universe figures. The legs only move forward and backwards about that much. He has no paint application under the trunks. And yellow boots with white laces, black and white piping on the socks. The head is made of soft plastic and is attached to the neck by a peg. The face sculpt is definitely Sylvester Stallone, and not too bad for 1983. Hey, let's take an overall look at the figure. Brand stamp on the back of the figure, copyright 1983, United Artists Corporation. Country of origin stamp on the back of the head, Hong Kong. The Rocky Balboa figure is a difficult figure to complete for the Phoenix Toys Rocky line. He has four accessories and the boxing trunks are unique to the action figure. The boxing gloves and championship belt were reused for Apollo Creed and Clubber Lang. For action figures in 1983, this line was a disappointment. All the characters used the exact same body mold with limited articulation. Cheap quality and the late release in comparison to the movie led these toys to be mostly forgotten by kids of the 1980s. But I enjoy these toys for what they were, rack toys, and an expensive way to relive the excitement of the movie Rocky III. They won't be remembered as the best toys of the 1980s, but they were the best Rocky toys produced in the 1980s. And for the love of Rocky III and the excitement of hearing the song, Survivor's Eye of the Tiger, Phoenix Toys, Rocky action figures are the champions. I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to catch my latest uploads. And until next time, you're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna crack thunder.